We try to control it, but they enter the backyard of the port. So the security people are being placed on a light to drive everybody else from our report because we cannot loot the food that was stored back there. Right. Yeah. And, and, so and we, don't, we don't want to be blamed for the looting. That's why you see the security people up and down trying to put the civilian population out of the place. Right. What, what percentage of food has been taken? Do you know? Is there I, any food left? I don't know exactly because not me who stopped back the food, that was the war food program. So I will not tell you exactly the amount of ton that they packed there. And the control situation, do you feel it's in control or out of control? Say that again. Do you feel you are in control of the situation? We are totally in control of the situation. That's why I see the men are putting the civilian out of the fence. Because we don't want to be blamed for the looting of the poor. I can't do anything. Well, there are definitely not enough peacekeepers on the ground yet. Um, the 1st Battalion of Nigerian uh, ECOWAS troops are almost up to strength, and they've done a wonderful job. And uh, their, their mere presence has been a symbolic and has helped to calm things. It's been wonderful. Um, the fact that the Americans are sitting over the horizon has also had a symbolic effect. And, uh, but we need more actual troops on the ground. This it would certainly be our hope that the United States would uh, put whatever resources it had at the disposal, but uh, those decisions are still to be made, and uh, there have been reports of the Americans coming in almost every day for the last few weeks, so uh, whether these today's reports are any different from that, uh, I couldn't say. But we would certainly welcome their presence.